Looks like somebody just taken out the trap. Whoa, where'd she go? That's, was that an alien abduction? I mean, geez, that thing is staring right into your soul. You know, what can this be? Is it a fairy? Well, I don't see any wings. Do you see any wings? And then on top of that, is it an elf? I don't think so. It's definitely not a goblin or a gnome or anything like that. And the very, the intricacy of this video, when you zoom in on it, like watch here, like the arms and swinging, it's swinging at the cat, it's trying to get away from it. It's, it just seems very, it just seems like this is some form more like a mythical type creature. I, I personally have never seen a video like this and I have watched thousands of clips and this doesn't seem like a normal fairy video and that's actually quite large that thing looks like the size of a gi joe it, it's quite large and what i'll say is i'll leave this up to your interpretation to think of what you th of what you think this might be because those are really the only answers that i have you know you could go down the road of is this more of an interdimensional creature uh, i don't know is it a is this possibly like a possessed doll that's flying? I don't know. There's a lot of those crazy far-fetched things out there too. But I'm going with some type of fairy or some type of elf type creature. That's what I'm going with. But it doesn't have wings. It's just flying. So let us know in the comments what you might think this creature is. We're going to the next clip. And what we're possibly looking at here is a full video of a gentleman that is on some type of ship in the middle of the ocean, and that supposedly is supposed to be a portal. Now, is it possible that that could be a portal just in the middle of the ocean? The ocean is huge, and maybe whoever opened it forgot to close it. It's very possible. Um, on the flip side of that, it could also be the backside of a boat and light could be reflecting off, especially like a super freighter or something, you would probably see a lot more of the ship. That is really far away, so it could be going over the curvature of the earth and that might be like the top, the highest point of the ship and maybe it has some white or silver or something on it, um, especially like marine grade paint. But man, that is freaking creepy. All right, next clip. And what, this dude, this picture is so freaking creepy, man. Jeez, that thing is just like staring into your soul. Like it's so creepy to think like if you were walking through the woods and you didn't see that and there was a creature like that just glaring at you, just what like, you know, 5, 10, 15 feet away from Hello? you. This is supposed to be a Bigfoot and it's super creepy because, you know, it's a decent image. But it's creepy because it doesn't look like this creature has any eyes. As I zoom in like that, it does literally, it doesn't look like it has any eyes. And uh, this is a supposedly took it on somebody's property and it's a trail cam image. And what I must say is that is a really, really, really good trail cam image as far as like catching a creature of some kind. And that brush that's right in front of it probably looks like it's a good four to five feet. I would say, just because of the angle of the image, a lot of times trail cams aren't like super high in the air. So it looks like that creature's looking down at the trail camera. And it's, uh, that's a pretty tall creature. If that indeed is an image of a Bigfoot, you know, Bigfoot's being elusive and whatnot, um, it does seem to be a pretty decent image of one. Um, let us know in the comments if you guys think that's a Bigfoot, you think it's some other type of cryptid creature. I'm definitely going with it's most likely an image of a Bigfoot, but um, it's a pretty good one for me. All right, next clip.
This is supposed to be an alien abduction. And it is hella creepy. And I know there's a lot of... The big thing about alien abductions is there's not a ton of videos of them. It's a lot of um, people giving... Uh, you know, giving their stories about them, telling stories and descriptions of their encounters and what they went through and things like that. There's not a lot of videos of them. And this is obviously a security camera. It looks like it's probably an apartment of some kind, I believe, because it looked like she was taking the trash out. And it is very creepy, dude. Like, this video is heavily circulating around, especially on TikTok and Instagram. Um, it, it's... I'm not saying it's legit. I don't do a ton of alien footage with UFOs, UAPs, and these types of encounters and stuff like that. I don't really cover a lot of alien stuff. But, I mean, it really does seem like flash of light, which is what you standardly hear, and then she disappears, and you see another flash of light, and she's back. It seems like this happened very quickly. It doesn't seem like she or somebody else edited, edited this footage to make it look that way. It just looks like it was. she was gone, and then she was back real quick. And it's just real weird that she dropped whatever she had. She looks very disoriented. And we can go into the whole thing of, like, interdimensional travel, where did she travel and where she went? Like, if the aliens did abduct her, is time slower where she was? And then they put her back there, and that's why maybe in our dimension, it didn't seem to be, it seemed to be very fast, but maybe the time's slower there. I know that gets a little deep into the actual science part of time travel, but, you know, that is a possibility of what we're looking at. And it's really creepy. It's the first time I've ever covered an alien abduction or anything like that. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want a little bit more of this stuff. And whenever these things come up, we'll uh, definitely make sure we put them in there. But man, that's, that'd be so terrifying to be her if that was really real and she had that experience. Okay, next clip. And I do love these. They still creep me out a lot because the creepy noises and, you know, like obviously drawers opening and doors opening and closing and things like that. Like the previous video I did where the ghost was messing with the guy in his apartment and it was opening his opening and closing his money blinds. You know, this girl's experiencing the same thing. A ghost or entity of some kind, poltergeist possibly, is opening this front drawer, which is traditionally a drunk drawer, a junk drawer in most people's house houses and that second time when you see her she legitimately gets freaked out by what's happening and the reason i say she it looks like this is a legitimate encounter is because drawers don't necessarily just open themselves like i understand like if possibly you know that is not on the most level plane and something maybe they put something new and heavy up at the front of the drawer like and it could open but i highly doubt that's the case in this situation um it really seems like that is like her apartment and that's where she lives and the drawer opened and she closed it and she walked around the corner and then the thing opened immediately again because that's what ghosts and poltergeists love to do they love to mess with people and she came around the corner and she just booked it up out of there and to be honest with you i would do the same thing let us know in the comments what you would do in that situation. I wouldn't touch that drawer again. I'd be up out of there. And the, always remember, these types of encounters, you know, there's so much footage of these encounters. And I'm not saying that's what makes them real. I know people fake these. But man, it just seems like there's just too much of this type of content out there that it's not real. So I'll leave you with that for this video. I really, really appreciate everybody that's been supporting the channel. It's been going really well. It's a lot of fun. We're just going to keep making these videos for you. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And other than that, we'll see you guys next week. And remember, two weeks' time, we're going to be doing um, the Bigfoot, the first edition of the docu-series, and it's going to be on Bigfoots. Later.